Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. Happy April Fools. Who's the fool? You're the fool. I have some news that I wanted to share with you. I am officially a transsexual. <laughs> I am doing an home operation. I will be slicing my penis away. Now, if you saw it, some of you would be very confused. You'd think, Big H, you've got such a package, one that most people would only dream, would only pray for. Why are you doing it? Well, the thing is, I am not a man, but I'm not a female either. I identify as a chimpanzee. I am a monkey. From now on, I will strictly be eating bananas, um, ants, things like that and if you say he or she i'll be annoyed i will turn violent aggressive you call me big h the monkey <laughs> <laughs> that was a prank bro did i get you that was april fools you just got pranked you just got pranked did you fall for it did you actually think i was gonna do a home operation and slice my penis in three sell it on the black market get a bit of cash times are tough but they're not that tough ladies and gentlemen so it's april fools apart from being the biggest fool in the universe what else can it offer well i am true the biggest fool in the universe but i thought let's have a look at some of the greatest april fool pranks that the media reports i bet you can't wait strap yourselves in put it into first gear and let's get cracking Well, here's the first problem. I have no friends and also I have no family. So I will be picking on random people in the streets. Uh, you can uh, stick around at the end to have that April Fool's done. Set the clocks ahead. Fool someone into waking up early. Oh my god, what a prank. Dude, that is like prank of the century, man. Imagine turning on someone's clock, putting it early. Oh wait, people don't have clocks anymore? Oh right, do people just use phones? Oh right, so how are you going to log into someone's phone, you stupid donkey? Huh? How are you going to do that? You're not getting my password. Oh, do you mind if I just borrow your phone for a second? I need to call my mum. No, bitch, you're going to change my clock to prank me into waking up early. I see the bullshit. Shit. I say it. This one has gained popularity on TikTok lately. lately. Change the phone settings to substitute common words with humorous alternatives. Oh my god. This is an incredible idea. I can't believe someone done it. So imagine if you put, I don't know, hello, and you auto changed it to, I don't know, I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> that is humorous. These pranks are pretty tame, bro. I was thinking, you know, sitting off fireworks in someone's house and, like, having it sent to space or something, you know, pulling it up and tying loads of balloons to it and sending it up or, I don't know, um, removing someone's door and not telling them. That would be kind of funny. But yeah, what else could you do in terms of changing... I don't know, you send a message saying, I like to, I don't know, I despise. <laughs> uh, see, these are shite. You know what I mean? We'll come up with some better ones. That was dog muck. Humorous alternatives are well as well. <laughs> you know, that's like, we won't tell you what to do, but you can be really rude with this, you know. But children don't, you know, don't do that. Who come up with these ideas? I'm pretty sure these are made from like a big fat middle-aged white man whose first iPhone was like two years ago and you know he's been using the Nokias but was forced to do it. He doesn't have any sense of anything. Change the number to mom and send confusing texts. Like what are you going to say? I love you. I thought about this for so long. Like you know what I mean? It's just not a good one. Unless you said you're in trouble. I've seen what you've done. I know what you did. You know you could, you could do something creative but I think this is like primary school. This is like kid level banner. We need some absolute options that are going to cause some chaos i mean you could send some funny things i suppose saying like i don't know you disowned but you know it wouldn't really be that funny and what about if they don't have a mum? more and more people these days have double dads or you know um no mum at all some are getting out there before they have they they before they have the opportunity not to you know what i mean you know what i mean <laughs> i'm just gonna like you pause for a moment. Fill the dispenser with unusual liquid for a messy hand washing experience. The f does that even mean? Messy hand? I hope he's not talking about pissing in there or something even more disgusting that comes out of the human genitalia. I hope he's not. This is a children's day, a, gay a day for having fun. What could you put in there? I don't know. Someone's, you know, feces. Do you think that'd be funny? I, I don't think. I think I'd probably murder the person who did that. What else could you put in there? Um, oh, I have a brilliant idea. What about if you put some fake soap in? <laughs> could you imagine? They wash their hands for the whole year, but they've never actually used it. Or maybe, I don't know, we put hand sanitizer in there and then when like they wipe their face or something like they burn their eyes and cry and then drop dead i mean that will be a great idea i love that that's fantastic 
Dude. What? This has got to be the best one here. This is a corker. Replace milk with an unexpected liquid in the fridge for a breakfast surprise. Imagine that. Someone's vegetarian. You swap out their milk for real milk. <laughs> That would be a great prank. I would love that prank. I would do it myself, actually, that prank. I'm going to go do it to my brother or something like that. And then it's like, ha, you're drinking real milk. You're a fake veggie. You're a liar. You've ruined your entire life for so long you've done this. And just today, I've ruined it for you. That would be horrible, wouldn't it, though? I don't know. I suppose you could just put water in, but that's not really funny, is it? I think swapping milks is what we should do. Also, this music is f absolute dog shit. That is actually quite funny. <laughs> no, it's not. That is for kids. Imagine that, though. You see, like, a tenner on the floor, and you go pick it up, and you're, like, there trying to pull it. It's like, what sort of glue is going to keep me from picking up this ten bucks? I tell you now, that shit's got to be Superman-level strength, because me, the Incredible Hulk, will find a way. I don't care if I've got to get a crowbar out. I don't care if I've got to get a blowtorch. That money is going in my pocket, and it's mine. Do you understand? It's mine. I think that's the best one, though. So that's all of them. April Fool's is truly a day for the past. It used to be exciting. I remember my dad once coming, screaming, oh my god, it's snowing, it's snowing. We got it, we looked outside, there was no snow. That is an evil man right there. Who doesn't want to... So pretend someone's won the lottery. Terrible. Give your kids a shot by pretending you're selling the house. I'm sure that will make them cry. That's a fantastic idea. Upside down house. Yeah, that's too much effort. <laughs> much of that. You stick your mate's stuff to the ceiling. Pe peanut butter and last. Don't care. Don't compute. Many as were. This is too long. Bugler infested with bugs and tape it on your front door to alarm unsuspecting visitors. Oh dear. For this April Fool's prank, unwrap a lollipop, replace the candy with a Brussels sprout, and then rewrap the treat to present your unknown kiddos. <laughs> God, there are some sad, sad people out here. This is clearly for adults who have kids and also aren't very creative or can't think of any ideas of their own. Invest in a bag of fake ants. Fuck no, bro. Invest in a bag of real ants and pour them on your kids' lunch. Then tell me how they how their day went for school, yeah? <laughs> The thing is though, yeah, it's bank holiday, isn't it? You know, everyone has the day off, who's in school? Cookie Monster, Cat and Mouse, Soap Star, Face Forward, Bad Rap, <gasps> Bad Rap! Mate, imagine that, you wrap your mum's car, I think, I think I'd think i be even more disowned, I'm not allowed in the family house. <laughs> Spoonful of sugar, yes, yeah, salt in the sugar, sugar in the salt, classic, classic. I think it'd be better actually if you put salt in the sugar. Won't it? That'll be more funny because I think they'd both be pretty grim. So cheesy. So special. Mashed potatoes is ice cream. This is disgusting. So happy April Fools, everyone. I want to hear what you guys are doing. Twitter is just a terrible place to be at the moment. Even though I'm on it right now, it scares me. I keep reading things and make myself want to die even more so in real life. Just K-pop. Who the fuck is this kid? And why is he always there? Look, this post's not helpful. It's really not. Neither is this stupid. Like, who are these fucking Asian people? Who are you? Get away. Yeah, April Fools. It's a time for fools. Are you a fooler or are you a fooled? Me, I'm just an idiot or either way. Any day of the week, it gets fucking K-pop spam. Dog shit, mate. What happened to Twitter? It used to be so good. So, so good. Anyway, happy April Fools. Are you the fool? Ooh, Resident Evil 1. Oh, no freaking way, dude. No freaking way. They're making Resident Evil 1 remake. Oh, God. I did try play it. It was too old for me. I can't lie, but I'll definitely play that. Anyway, happy April Fools, you fool.